Well, hello. So this is kind of the video series type of thing that I'm still experimenting with where I, I kind of explore topics that I'm interested in that maybe don't suit well to a podcast guest. Uh, so I've been kind of going with like the quirky type of history theme. But uh, this morning I saw an article about them bringing the woolly mammoth back, which is I've heard forever. So I'm going to try doing a video on that. I know it doesn't quite fit in the theme, but uh, I'm pretty curious about it. It's, it's always been fascinating to me, so uh, I want to dive into it and try it. So let me know what you think about this video. So let's bring the woolly mammoth back from extinction. So straight up, here is the article from The Guardian. So a firm raises 15 million big ones to bring back the woolly mammoth from extinction. So yeah, I feel like we've heard of this a lot. It seems like people are always talking about bringing the woolly mammoth back from extinction and reanimating it Jurassic Park style, but I don't even know if that's possible. But if they raised 15 million dollars to do it, something must be happening. I mean, straight off, look at this. This is the remains of a preserved baby mammoth. That is amazing. It's, it's still pretty cute too. So it's all being done by a bioscience and genetics company named Colossal. So they're going to start off by creating an elephant mammoth hybrid by making embryos in the laboratory that carry mammoth DNA. Okay, so here's a good little graphic showing how the hell they're going to do this. So they're going to extract the genome from frozen woolly mammoth specimens and compare them with Asian elephant genomes to reveal mammoth mammoth specific genes. So they're able to identify particular genes by comparing the mammoth genomes extracted from animals recovered from the permafrost from those with related Asian elephants. So they're kind of able to compare and contrast the DNA and determine what traits are what apparently. And then they're going to take the skin cells from Asian elephants and edit them to carry mammoth genes. Sounds doable to me. And so the nucleus is edited and an egg is created in the lab from the stem cells. And its nucleus is then replaced with a nucleus from the skin cell containing the mammoth DNA. And so then those embryos would then be carried to term in a surrogate mother or potentially in an artificial womb. And if all goes to plan, and the hurdles are far from trivial, I can imagine, the researchers hope to have their first set of calves in six years. So the researchers say their goal is to make a cold resistant elephant, but it is going to look and behave like a mammoth. Not because we are trying to trick anybody, but because we want something that is functionally equivalent to the mammoth that will enjoy its time at negative 40 degrees Celsius and do all the things that elephants and mammoths do, in particular, in particular knocking down trees. So this is also supposedly going to help Asian elephants, which are going extinct, by equipping them with the traits that allow them to thrive in the vast stretches of the Arctic. Is it really an Asian elephant still then? They're also saying that these new hybrid elephants, mammoth hybrid elephants, would be able to help restore the degraded habitat of the Arctic tundra and help with the climate crisis. Seems like a stretch, but I guess that'd be nice if it happens. Yeah, there is kind of like the question of why. Why even do this? I don't think helping the climate crisis is why you would do this. That doesn't seem reasonable. Yeah, this here says you would need hundreds of thousands of mammoths, which isn't really practical. So I want to see some of these frozen preserved woolly mammoths that we have. So this is Layuba, L-Y-U-B-A, which is who we saw before earlier. It's the little baby mammoth. They discovered this female woolly mammoth calf in May of 2007 in the Arctic Yamal Peninsula of Siberia, Russia, just washed out from the permafrost along the Yerba River. So this little baby woolly mammoth was 30 to 35 days old at the time of death, weighs 110 pounds, and is about the size of a large dog. That's amazing. Yeah, this little baby woolly mammoth spent 40,000 years frozen in the ice, even had traces of her mother's milk left in her stomach. That is incredible. Wow, and then this is yucca, which is supposed to be even well, more better preserved than Layuba. Look, at you can still see hair on there even. That's crazy. Not as cute, but better preserved. Okay. So Yuka was found in 2010, and she's between 6 to 11 years old when she died. And they were actually able to extract flowing blood from Yuka. They're guessing that mammoth blood contains a natural kind of antifreeze. Look at that, her feet and hair. Ooh, look at the mammoth hair. It's like a little red. This was a ginger mammoth. Wow, they were able to extract Yuka's brain in excellent condition. That's crazy too. Ugh, gruesome. Well, that was pretty cool. Thanks for going on that with me and, and learning about that. I find this stuff so fascinating. And it seems like that article was talking about how every time there's like a woolly mammoth discovery, they talk about cloning and it's never really happened. But maybe it'll actually start to happen now that they've got some serious uh, money and capital. They got $15 million to really start making this thing happen. But that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. 
And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button. Subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. Bro, not very good.